All right, in this video, I want to solve an equation that involves a radical, or more specifically, a square root. So typically, the process on equations where you have radicals, especially if you have multiple radicals, you, you always isolate one of them. And then to get rid of a square root, we square both sides. So in this case, since we already have the, the square root isolated, to get rid of the square root on the left, I have to square it. That's the, the, the operation just to get rid of the square root. Well, since I do it to the left side, I also have to do it to the right side. When you square a square root, you just get whatever's underneath the square root. So we'll just be left simply with the x plus 12. On the right side, we're going to have to FOIL this out. This is x minus 8 times x minus 8. So on the left, we still have our x plus 12. On the right, we'll multiply x and x and get x squared. We'll get a negative 8x and then another negative 8x, which will give us negative 16x. Negative 8 and negative 8 is positive 64. And again, now this is just a more familiar quadratic equation. So what I'm going to do is make one side equal to 0. So I'll subtract x from both sides. That'll leave me with 12 equals x squared minus 17x plus 64. And then I'm going to have to subtract 12 from both sides. So we'll get 0 on the left. We have x squared minus 17x. Uh, 64 minus 12 is going to be positive uh, 52. And now I'm thinking, do I know two numbers that multiply to 52 but um, add up to negative 17? Um, I th think I've got two in my head. So I think uh, 4 and 13. If we multiply 4 and 13, that's going to give us 52. Um, if we make them both negative, well, that still gives us positive 52. And notice these also, if you take negative 4 um, and negative 13 and add them, we do get negative 17. So that looks like a correct factorization to me. So if we set x minus 4 equal to 0, we can add 4 to both sides and get x equals 4. On the other, x minus 13 equals 0, add 13 to both sides, um, and we'll get another, I should say, potential solution. Typically, anytime you have a problem involving square roots, you always want to go back to the original problem and see if these solutions actually work. So remember, this was the original problem, x plus 12 equals x minus 8. Let's see, notice if we plug 4 in, we would get 16, the square root of 16 is 4, but if we plug that onto the right side, we'll get negative 4. So actually this solution is at work in the original equation. It gives us what's called an extraneous solution. But notice if we plug 13 in, we would get 25 under the radical, which the square root of 25 is 5. 13 minus 8 is 5. So this solution does check out. We have one solution to our original equation, namely the number 13. 